welcome, welcome. I am the Power Hobo. I am bad at games, and we are back in Lura Akom on the Gateway District, working on this uh, horrendous building. Uh, last video, we finished up the roof on this pig, and uh, left all the details, little stuff like this, like apartment names and whatnot. Um, so I'm just gonna finish those, and we're gonna move on to the other buildings because I'm tired of this one. Uh, this still took a remarkable amount of time, just getting the details right. Um, not, not getting them right, just being picky about it, you know, changing design or, uh, uh locations of, of signs and whatnot, because I'm picky. Little stuff like, like exactly this, the torches making sure that they didn't look weird, at least as much as possible. They still look a little bit weird just because the building is kind of funky. But I think I've also got the, uh, got the chimneys left to finish, gonna fly up there. Take care of those, and we got windows everywhere because a building this big, oops, a building this big should not have no windows. It just doesn't make any damn sense. Despite that, really, I mean, this building is so, um, so weird. I mean, in terms of its layout and everything with the walls, that I actually think it looks okay without the windows, but the, uh, the windows kick it up a notch, make it a little bit better. So yeah, I'm going to add a bunch, um, and I'm definitely going to be using the stained glass because I'm addicted to it like crack. Um, I really like the way that the stained glass patterns look now in, uh, in Conquest. Um, the fact that they've got the diamond patterns and the circular patterns and everything, I really enjoy it, so I overuse it. I can't just put regular windows on anything anymore. Plus I like the little you know color contrast, especially when I'm using such a busy texture for the walls. Um, you know, regular plain windows, uh, for me at least, look a little bit better on, uh, you know, like the, the uh, stained clay, like yellow and white stained clay, where they're more or less plain with just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of the underlying structure poking through. Um, that being said, still don't use them there, because, like I said, addicted to the stained glass. Like crack. I hate when this happens. I hate when I have to mix blocks with panes because I've designed a building poorly. I mean, I obviously I'd do it. I don't have a choice. I screwed myself, but I don't like doing it. And as with everything else, you know, I, I don't ever come at it with a plan of attack. Like this giant window here, this is all just, it's random as I'm going along. Normally turns out okay-ish. I think it turned out okay here. I like it anyway. I did discover while doing this that uh, I've been overbuilding my boundaries that I've set. Uh, like, um, I'm gonna fly over here and destroy some glowstone in a second. And it's because I'm that right here. Ah, ah, did it, did it. Yep, gotta get rid of that. Because my eaves stick out so far, they've been kind of screwing with. Uh, Screwing with buildings that are too close, and that's part of the drawback of building this place so cramped. But I think it looks pretty good. It uh, it came together. I mean, I should have used a cinematic cam mod for this. I'm all jerky. Anyway, um, you know, I uh, I think I like it. It's different. It's a uh, it's got a lot of weird little protrusions, and no, now it's done. Now it's done. But I like it, it's different. So moving on, obviously, doing the redesign here. Another one of my random chests for no reason. I'm just gonna move the spire over because I am determined to have something tall here. Yeah, about that tallish. And uh, it occurs to me <laughs> that while I'm gonna pick the palette for this thing, yeah, you see that? It's me making sure that that chest is still accessible in case I ever turn this into an adventure map, which I'm not going to do because I know myself. Uh, yeah. It occurs to me that uh, the picking the pallets for these buildings the way that I do, all uh, you know, attacking each building individually, um, I see a lot, a lot of YouTubers when they do uh, big, big towns or districts or whatnot like this. Like, they pick a pallet for the town, you know, or, or the district or whatever you call it, the area, um, like, uh, uh, you know, I, I saw someone make a huge city, and it's like all stone, wood, 
and uh, uh, stained clay, and they were, you know, using the Conquest texture pack as well, because it's amazing. Um, you should download it. Anyway, um, like I said, they, they pick a palette for, like, the whole area, and looking at it, it looks great. You know, I mean, and, and <laughs> you can see this. I do this constantly. I fly around and just do little touch-ups. I'll probably come back later and change it back for no reason. Um, but like I said, they, they pick a palette for the whole town, and it looks great. I love it. Uh, it makes everything look um, like it was built to be one town. And I just can't. I just can't. And I like what I do. I, I think it's... I think everyone does this. I, I can't be alone. Um, I like what I do, but I look at what other people do, and then I go... Oh, I wish I did that. I should have done that. But I don't think it would have worked here. I don't. I do like these little wells. Yay, well. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it would have worked here. The, uh, the colors in this arch, I think, are, are what really, um, really kind of make it a uh, nice, a nice place to walk through. Uh, and there I go, failing to choose materials that don't suck again. Um, I, I, this is new to me, actually. These are all the materials from, you know, uh, 1.8 that I haven't used yet. So you can see me trying to go a little, uh, a little ape shit, trying to force them into a place where they don't actually look good. I don't like them as columns. Let's not do that. Yeah, not gonna do that. Anyway, um, yeah, so OCD Nightmare, I guess, is where I was going with that. Um, all these people who actually choose a palette for their whole town or their whole district or village or whatever, um, they probably, if they ever see this video, which, uh, judging by my view counts, they won't, um, they would see this and probably just have an aneurysm and it would be a bad time, and that would really suck, because I enjoy watching these videos. And if these people die on my account, um, then I can't. That would suck. Don't die, guys. Just don't do it. But yeah, I actually do think I'm going to try and borrow that tactic a little bit later, though, because I have such big areas to build, and so much time I feel was spent up here trying to just pick materials for buildings and I feel like if I get a really you know like a, a winning combination of materials then I can just go and just build and you know build a whole damn section and be done with it and not take forever like this is not not spend 50 videos on it um, speaking of which I, uh, I broke down all the footage from this and I think I have like eight videos worth for just this district, just this half of this district. Um, yeah, it's definitely time to do some of this. Starting a little, uh, look a little, little stark. Devils in the details and all that. Um, yeah, anyway, I think I have like eight videos for this half of this district. And uh, they're all time-lapsed, so that should tell you how long it took. So I guess what I'm wondering, if anyone actually sees this, since I have yet to get a real YouTube comment yet, uh, only spam. Love the spam. Makes me feel special. Um, yeah, if I should be doing more of this off camera and then just doing, you know, uh, show arounds afterwards, please let me know. Yeah, a little slow walk here. See how it's looking with some of the details implemented. Little little things that you wouldn't even miss unless they were gone. And you may not even miss them then. I would though. Oh, man, I really wish. I had metadata back. <laughs> she can't get into this house anymore. Fantastic. <laughs> Fucking vines. <laughs> Go home, vines. You are drunk. Yeah. I like it. I like everything being on a different level here. You're always, you know, looking up or down. A little lag spike. And um, getting kind of late in the video, I think I'm going to put on some uh, some royalty-free jazz.
So if you're watching, you may have noticed that I totally screwed up and uh, the roofs, the peaks of the roof don't match. Um, don't worry, I will fix it. I think it was off camera, but I fixed it. It's all that matters, right? Right. So uh, a couple blocks here, I don't like this. And um, I'm gonna fill in this little peak here. And I think I'm done. Yep, it's done. And I like it. Quaint little house. Uh, and holy shit, a video less than 15 minutes. Less than 45 minutes at that. Um, excellent place to cap it. Uh, we'll pick it up next time. Get working on the rest. And uh, thanks for watching.